Oh, we got 54 minutes left to our destination, guys. Um, welcome to another behind the season. Is that what we're calling it this year? Behind the season. I am with Matty Ice, and we are headed to an elk hunt. Um, pretty excited about this elk hunt. New country we've never been to before. And we are in the great state of Arizona. This is a bit of a unique opportunity. And so uh, we'll share a little bit more about the opportunity as we get into where we're headed to. But been on the road for about nine hours-ish. So far, so good. And got about an hour to go. So uh, check back with you guys when we get to camp. Where we got going, dude. All right, guys. So, um, welcome back. We finally made it to our camp. We um, got presented like a really special opportunity to come to the White Mountain Apache Reservation here in Arizona. And man, if you were like we are, grow up watching like DVDs or old hunting films, the White Mountain Reservation, the San Carlos Reservation, the Hickory, like. Some really incredible elk hunting historically, and so we are uh, we're gonna come and get to see what it's all about. I'm just so excited. The country up here is really really pretty. We're sitting at like 10,000 feet of elevation right now, which is partially why I'm out of breath lugging in all this gear. But it's uh, big, beautiful open meadows, kind of a blend of aspens and some pines, and just like pristine elk habitat. And so it's pretty unique what the White Mountain Apache tribe has been able to do from a management standpoint, the way that their elk herd is currently being managed. We are going to be participating in a management bull hunt. So they're looking for an age class of eight to 12 year old bulls that have a five point frame, or they have some unique palmation on their main beams up above their royals. And so that is what we're going to be chasing today. I've got the Hoyt I'll be carrying with me. Uh, we're going to be hunting the dates of September 10th through the 15th. And we are crossing our fingers. We're going to be able to share with you guys some incredible elk hunting footage. Um, and maybe what you might close your eyes and dream about, at least I do, which is just bugling bulls in the aspens, in these big open meadows with big ponderosa pines. And uh, man, that's what we're going to get ready to do. So tomorrow is going to be opening day. We're kind of getting our stuff settled in. We're going to go jump out with some of the folks that um, are guiding us and do a little scouting this evening. They've been up here for um, quite a while already, kind of getting the lay of the land, seeing what's going on. And by uh, by the sounds of it, the bulls are just starting to kind of kick on, starting to chase cows, starting to do their typical things they do this time of year in September. So Matty S is behind the camera. He's going to be hopefully on my shoulder. And uh, we're going to be going out with gentleman by the name of Sisto will be our guide. And Wayne is our, our camp boss here at this particular camp. There's a handful of other hunters uh, that are also going to be doing the management hunt. And then there's one hunter that uh, in this camp anyways, that's going to be chasing that trophy quality bull. So we're going to be all working together as a group. We're going to get a chance to meet some new people, experience some new incredible elk country, and uh, honestly participate in a really unique opportunity uh, that I feel fortunate enough to be the tag holder of. So um, stay tuned, guys. We'll try to share some stuff that uh, we're capturing here as we prepare for the opening days. And then, uh, with any luck, we're going to have a really cool film to share with you later on down the road. So cross your fingers. Wish me luck. Maddie, let's go see some elk. Guys, we are back. Uh, it's daylight. We just scouting yesterday. We kind of left you hanging. Saw a little bit of uh, maybe introduction to meeting some of the crew that is here, some of the other hunters, some dinner. Uh, we went out this morning for a bit of a morning hunt, and it was incredible. Can't show you too much of it, but maybe give you a little tease. Yeah. 
a lot of bugles, a lot of elk. Doing a little uh, practice, gonna shoot the bow a little bit. Gonna take some naps, gonna eat some lunch. I'm gonna go back out this afternoon. We found a couple, couple good possible shooter bulls. So wish us luck guys. We will um, maybe share a few more tidbits here. Maddie, when do we need to get this footage back to the boys? Okay, so we got maybe one or two more days of showing you guys a little bit of behind the scenes, but get a load of this landscape, you know? Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I already did that, Matt. My first shot, I feel very, very good about. Let me verify. Very good shot. Yeah. That would work. Shooting up 45 yards. There's a caribou there in the trees. And yeah, I pulled that one slightly a little higher than I would want, but still kill, killed. It's always nerve wracking the first couple shots after like a long road trip, getting the muscles. Yeah, that one I pulled big time. I feel like we're at total archery challenge right now. Don't, I don't love this one, although it technically scores as a vital long hit. These two are better, straight longs. All right, round two, so much better. 12, 12, 10. I'll take it. Sometimes I feel, feel like shooting these archery targets is a lot like freaking teeing off first tee box. You gotta get the jitters out, you know, and then you start shooting better. Well, between 773 and 780. So, yeah, right gee, on. look at that side, it's so cool. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's cool. That'll do, huh? Man. Yeah, we thought it was muddy, huh, when we saw it this morning? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, but it was that, it was that stuff. It was just that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> We lose daylight. Shit, you had a bad <laughs> Barely touching and big boy. Yeah. What you got? Look at this beast. 427. White Mountain Apache Bull. Killed last year. Uh, that's just an absolute mega. Can't even imagine seeing what that looked like on the hoof. But these guys, uh, they operate some trophy class hunts. This is killed by, where'd he go? Over here. Get in there, man. Get in there. Corey, this is your bull. You hold that thing up. What's your name? Corey Lupi. Look at that. How far is the shot? 16. <laughs> huh? 60L, yeah, my camera shy, my bad. Oh, you're good, dude. Just, don't even, he's not even here. Just talk to me. How far? 60? Yeah. Dang. What were you thinking? That thing, like, did you, did you lose it? Were you getting buck fever or whatever? Oh, uh, my buddy was telling me to chill, man. <laughs> don't worry about it. Or like, just be calm. Dang, that thing is so sick. Look at that, man. Beautiful bull. Straight typical. I mean, so again, the the White Mountain Apache Reservation has some absolutely world-class elk hunting. They've got some incredible trophy hunts. Uh, so they've got opportunities for tribal members to apply for various hunts. And then there's opportunities for some non-tribal members to do some hunts too. So 
I'm doing a management hunt this this week, and then uh, they've got a couple other guys in camp doing management hunts. We also have one trophy hunter in camp, so they're looking for that age class of bull that's old and also has a kind of like a Boone and Crockett score uh, above 350. So they're working on trying to manage the conser conservation aspect of their herd to where they've got an older age class a bull and then they've got uh, a larger you know trophy quality as well so if they've done a, a really nice job they're continuing to try to like enhance it and improve it they're focused on like the age class preferably in that like 8 to 12 year range for the management uh, bulls and even similar for trophy bulls like this and so uh, there's a lot of cases where somebody might see like a 380 type bull here but if they feel like it's young maybe it's a six-year-old bull uh, they would want to try to let that one go and see what he might turn into because that 380 class bull could turn into something like this a 427 class bull so pretty wild stuff out here it's uh excited to see what this hunt kind of brings but congrats on your bull man you. absolute beautiful beautiful bull all right guys we just hiked up to uh, mount baldy mm -hmm. and uh pretty cool vantage point here it's absolutely gorgeous yeah. and jt just found Check this out, it's pretty cool. He's gonna tell you a little bit about what it, what it is and what it means. So <clears throat> this blue stone here is something that um, us as Apaches utilize in protection for um, the male um, boys, even men. Um, they'll tie that to a, a eagle plume, a feather, and it, it can, you know, be protection for a lot of things. Are there, there's feathers tied for specific meanings in Apache culture, and for the female, or even the teenage girl, the, uh, there's a feather that's tied with a, a white stone. And then there's, you know, e there's even more in depth of, you know, different color stones, but I don't know too much about that. Just kind of my basic knowledge of what the blue stone rep represents. Um, and I know if we were to meet somebody that um, conducts ceremonies or has a lot more knowledge, you know, they can explain a lot more of that. But what's the yeah. significance of Mount Baldy? So Mount Baldy is, for one, the highest peak on the reservation, and it's our sacred mountain. It's the highest point to the east. And in a lot of native cultures, not just Apache culture, the east represents a sacred direction. The east is where the sun comes up. And from stories I was told, um, people would come up here to pray and to be up here before the sun and giving your prayers to the sun. And the sun has a big significance to um, Apaches as well. And I know it's through a lot of other cultures and when you pray to the sun the sun will carry your prayers up high and so that's why you know some of our elders always tell us you got to be up before the sun you can't let the sun be up before you so that's one thing you know we were taught when we were young but yeah so like you like you said it's very beautiful up here uh this kind of you got to sit here and just take it all in just take your time look around and you know um, this blue stone was put down by somebody else that came up here before us to offer a, a thank you. Maybe they came up here to pray. Uh, maybe they came up here just to enjoy the scenery. But, you know, they would leave something in respect and in return to the land. As Apaches, you know, we want to respect our land, you know, because it provides for us as far as wood animals food to eat things like that water fish so it's very very important in apache culture to respect our land awesome man there's a there's a bull elk bugling to the east just went off again yep. uh pretty amazing opportunity to come up here just an incredible landscape absolutely beautiful
All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little section of Behind the Season. Uh, Matt and I just got home from a really fantastic experience in Arizona. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed some of the teaser clips, and you're definitely going to want to stick around to watch what we came up with. Can't give any more details beyond that, but I would say so far, man, we've had a phenomenal season, and we hope you are having a phenomenal season as well. So stick around. We'll be back next week with a little bit more behind the season, and uh, we should be getting together as a group and kind of determining when is going to be the launch date for the 2023 hunts. Stay tuned for that. And then uh, special congratulations to the winner of the Ultimate RMK Elk Hunt giveaway. We have announced that. So if you haven't checked that out, you can go watch that video on the channel. Uh, but we are very excited. We're going to be hunting with that person October 2nd through the 6th up at the RMK um, facility. And he's going to be chasing bugling bulls uh, with a rifle in hand. And the winner is talking about some different ideas of who he's going to have as a plus one. So I'm um, looking forward to finding out what he decided. And yeah, we'll be bringing you guys more weekly updates. Hope you're having a fantastic fall, guys. You only get so many opening days, like we always say, and uh, we'll, we'll catch you next week. 